This lesson is on angles. Our focus is going to be to figure out how we can determine the measurement of an angle separated into parts. I want you to think about this angle. I know several things about this angle just by looking at it. I know that the name of this angle is angle L M N. I put the M in the middle because that's where the vertex is. And then I labeled the two endpoints. I can tell that this angle is 60 degrees. I can tell that it's an acute angle because any angle that is less than 90 is considered to be acute. Today our lesson focus is to figure out how we can write equations when an angle is divided into parts. This is just one angle. Now let's divide it into parts. Let's say I drew a line from the vertex out and I labeled this point O. I'm going to write and figure out how I can put these together. This angle is 27 degrees. This angle is 33 degrees. These are two parts of the whole angle, angle L, M, N. I know that this part of the angle, 33 degrees, and this part of the angle, 27 degrees, when put together will equal 60 degrees. That's the big focus of our lesson. So now let's see how we can take that exact information and put it into an equation. I know that an equation has an equal sign. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to think about what I remembered. This part of the angle was 27 degrees, and this was 33 degrees. Now I'm going to write it as an equation. I can say that angle, and I'm going to go ahead up here, L, M, O. L, M, O is 33 degrees plus angle O, M, N. is 27 degrees. So that means 33 plus 27 is equal to angle L M O at 60 degrees. So I put these two pieces together 27 degrees, 33 degrees to get the entire angle measurement of 60 degrees. Let's try one. Now I'm making this a little bit harder than the book because I'm including the names of the angles. You don't always have to do that. You can see for this one, they're just asking for an equation to be written here. And then for you to label what the angle total measurement is. So now let's take a look. We're looking at the measurement for P, Q, T. So they want me to find the measurement of this angle. I don't know what that is, but I do know that PQR is 43 degrees. I know that RQT is 37 degrees. So I can put those two together. And I can say 43 degrees plus 37 degrees will give me the measurement that they're looking for, for angle PQT. I'm going to write it like this so I can see my regrouping. I know that 3 plus 7 is 10, 4 and 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so now I have a measurement of 80 degrees. I'm going to do a little quality check before I move on, because I can see that 80 degrees is a, an acute angle. Is this an acute angle? It is. So my answer makes sense. Just wanted to check that before I move on. Now you see a pencil here. What I'd like for you to do is quickly draw this write the equation and the total. Pause the video while you do that. Let's try another one. I can see I've got angle, they, I'm sorry, they're asking for the measurement for angle J, K, L. J, K, L. I don't know that, but I do know that angle J, K, M is 90. I do see that angle 
MKL is 10. So now I need to add those two together. 90 degrees plus 10 degrees equals 100 degrees. I could use mental math for that. So now I can look and write 100 degrees here. Take a moment and write the equation and the total. And then this is the challenging one. Here they want us to know the angle for KLN. KLN. I don't know that one, but I can tell you that KLM is 30. I can tell you that MLP is 90 and that PLN is 45. So it looks like I need to put all three of those angles together to get this big angle. So I could put 30 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 45 degrees. I'm going to add those vertically as well because I want to watch my regrouping. I can see 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5, 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 4 is 16. So now I know that this is 165 degrees. Pause for a minute and just write the equation and write the total. Now it's time to show what you know. It's time for you to take the lesson quiz on 11.4 and create those equations that combine angles. Good luck!